Now for years, the Toyota Avanza has dominated the subcompact MPV market, but that's been how many years ago? It's been a long time now. But now, Toyota Philippines has introduced the all new model. There's a lot of changes up to it, and I gotta tell you in this first look. What's going on guys? Roy Robles here from zigwheels.bh and today we'll be taking a first look of the all new 2022 Toyota Avanza. Now before I start and give you my impressions about the exterior look, especially this striking front end, I gotta say I'm loving the colorway. Toyota Philippines is calling this color greenish, gun, metal, mica, metallic. I, I finally got that right. Ask these guys how many takes I had to give it. And anyway, the front end features a more SUV-ish look that puts the Avanza in line with many of Toyota's current SUV line. So you got this nice trapezoidal grille right here, which is reminiscent of the Toyota Rays, but in the Avanza, and I think I'm loving it. Now you got this nice, thin LED headlamps. You might think that these have DRLs, but unfortunately they do not, but that's okay. The overall look is nice. You got your halogen fog lamps right here. You got a sweeping hood here. Although it's a bit short, it definitely fits the entire bill of the entire Toyota Avanza. Let's check out the side right here, give you a more idea how it looks. One significant change to the Toyota Avanza is that it's definitely a longer vehicle right here. Thanks to the longer wheelbase, you can, it actually gives it more potential for more interior space. But we'll talk about the interior space later on. It's got nice creases up front in the front fender as well in the rear. And then a nice character line that features all the way from the headlamps to the tail lamps. You notice a nice design right here as well, a black kink here giving you a more floating roof design kind of, but that's okay. You got this nice two-tone 16-inch alloy wheels as well. Well, of course, that those mags or those wheels are actually bigger than the previous model. I've never usually say this about the side profile of any vehicle, but on the Avanza, it makes it look more powerful, more substantial, and more athletic at the same time. It's heading over right here. So right here in the back, you see that the Avanza has a flatter profile than what it usually had. And then you've got this nice tail lamp implementation here. It's a thin strip of light, and it's a, definitely a nice implementation. Good job on that one, Toyota. Now you got your Avanza badge right there, and the G trim. You know this is definitely a G trim because it's the 1.5 G model. You also have your backup camera right here, and two backup sensors, which is definitely helpful, especially for driving this one. You got your uh, integrated spoiler up top and your shark spin antenna. But what's the reason why you get a Toyota Avanza? You buy a Toyota Avanza not just because it's affordable and capable, but because of all the space inside. Check this out. Opening the tailgate, you will see, you will definitely have access to all this space. And as you can see, we have the third row seats down. You got a huge trunk here for all your stuff. You even have a outlet right there, but we'll talk about that again later on. I just want to emphasize how easy it is to load your stuff into this because the uh, fl loading floor is much lower than the last one. It's wider. It gives you more advantages to, for example, you have your, all your stuff with you. It's easier to bring up, easier to carry, but let's take a look inside and see how that works. My first impression about how the inside the interior looks in the Avanza is it's definitely a complete overhaul from the previous variant. First of all, you got these nice cup holders on each side of the dashboard. The dashboard is entirely reworked from the previous one. This time, it's nicely sculpted all in all. It has these nice angular lines everywhere and really a modern look and a modern take for the Avanza. In the steering wheel, I'm glad to say that it is fully adjustable. You can adjust it for both reach and brake, if I can get to that, yep, yeah, there you go. So getting your perfect driving position is easy, and thank goodness for that armrest. So we asked Toyota if the Avanza has anything to do if it's related to the Rays, because we reviewed that car a few months ago, and getting inside the Avanza gives me a whole lot of the Rays feels because of how everything is uh, built up here. So if this is the sign of things to come for the future of Toyota small cars, I'm, I'm definitely in with it. 
All right, so the fabric seats are are definitely par for the course for an entry level or a basic MPV. They're real. They're actually kind of soft. They're soft and supportive thanks to these bolsters over here. And I like the color, the brown color. It adds a little bit of class uh, to the proceedings here. I'm not sure if you're, a, we haven't seen the 1.3 E and the other variants, but I think it definitely looks good in this one. So what's interesting about the Toyota Avanza is that it's implemented some sort of flexible seating arrangements for the inside. These seats here, they're definitely wider. And in the back, those seats actually fold flat. Even the third row folds flat, which gives you the capability for what they call a long sofa mode. So you can actually fold the front seats back and then the second row passengers would have this long leg room for them to lounge at. Or they can even fold the second row seats so the third row passengers would have all that leg room. So you know what the Avanza is all about, right? The Avanza is all about being a people mover. So you're traveling with your family with their gadgets, their apples, their androids. They got to keep themselves charged up. So thankfully, the Avanza's got that. So first of all, in the front row, you've got one USB right there. You also got a USB uh, port right here next to the touchscreen infotainment system. Plus, the second row passengers do get two USB ports for their, of their own. And you, you'd be thinking, well, what happens to the third row passengers? Well, they've got their own 12 volt socket. You've got an eight inch touchscreen infotainment system right here with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also have a digital screen right here in between analog gauges where you can check your fuel consumption, your range, you can have a clock right there. All right, so behind the wheel of the 2022 Toyota Avanza, under the hood, you'd find a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated engine that makes around 106 horsepower and 138 newton meters of torque, which is virtually the same, more or less, with a little bit more power here and there than the previous Banza, but it's front wheel drive. So no longer would you have the um, truck-like rear wheel drive Avanza, and instead, it actually feels like a smoother, more comfortable ride. So apart from being a front wheel drive car this time, it now ditches the uh, traditional torque converter automatic in favor of a CVT. And the Avanza having a CVT this time around definitely works. Plus the steering wheel is electronically powered. So uh, it's definitely light. Although you know me, I want my steering to be a bit heavier. But I think it's right between being too light and just right for me. All right, so when it comes to suspension, you get your McPherson struts up front and a torsion bar rear suspension in the rear. So here are a couple of thoughts about my experience with the Toyota Avanza. With the changes that they've given to the drivetrain, of course, it now has a different transmission as well. I'd say as a driver, all right, as a driver, I, I can definitely feel, feel the differences because it's smoother right this time because of the CVT and being front wheel drive and being a unibody design car I can feel the I can feel the ride quality has most certainly improved so what the new generation of Vanza gives us is it brings it to a whole different level so instead of being the old utilitarian truck based MPV that it was this time you get more space inside, you get better fuel economy, you get a smoother drive, but still at that affordable price point, which made it the best seller that it is in the first place. Speaking of fuel economy, although we haven't tested it just yet, Toyota promises that you get around at least a 20% efficient more over the last model, but from my testing, I definitely get around seven to eight kilometers per liter in this heavy traffic conditions. And I'd say that's not bad, especially if you're bringing over three people with you in the car, seven to eight kilometers per liter in standstill traffic is nothing short of exceptional. So for safety, I'm gonna have to list this down because Toyota is quite impressive with giving this Toyota Avanza, which is essentially a affordable MPV with a lot of safety features. So you got ABS with electronic brake force distribution. You got this brakes up front with drums in the rear. 
you have six airbags, a hill start assist, stability control, a backup camera with backup sensors, a rear cross traffic alert, which is important because if you're backing up from a uh, perpendicular parking position, you can't see which cars are coming, so you need that to alert you. You got blind spot monitoring systems, and you also have this nice nifty indicator right here just on top of the shifter right next to the start stop button that, it, that tells you which of your passengers are not wearing their seat belts. So if you got kids uh, that doesn't want to sit wear their seat belts, you'd know if they're lying if they're not wearing your seat belts right there. Right, so pricing for the Toyota Avanza starts at 813,000 pesos for the 1.3J model. And that's the entry level model that has a 1.3 liter engine. It has uh, smaller wheels, steel wheels actually, just basically the fleet car of the group. But if you want to go for the top of the line model, this one right here, that's gonna be 1,039,000 pesos. And based on the drive, based on what they give you, and of course that good old Toyota reliability, 1,039,000 pesos is definitely a good value. And something to think about if you're in the market for a new car, something that's certainly more substantial than a small hatchback or a subcompact sedan. So there you have it folks, it's our first look of the Toyota Avanza. It's a definite improvement over the previous model in terms of exterior styling, interior space and drive. But only a real review will give us a definite answer if this will be on top of the subcompact MPV game. So don't miss that video. If you don't want to miss that video, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss it. Thanks for watching. This is Roy Robles from ZigaWheels.ph. I'll see you guys next time.